Took it at a moment, there's no sense for me to quit What you say, we don't know I'm just trying to reach my goals Heard you snitching, saying it so You can't hang with me no more What's up guys, Chris of Productions here and I'm back with another amazing video man Now today we got Man insists his 4 year internet relationship is not a romance scam now, I've been looking around for some catfish videos that are not, like, heavily copyrighted. You know what I'm saying? Like, the videos that's not, like, from official TV shows and stuff like that. So, but I think we found something that's pretty good. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Bust the hole in my page. You're like, I'm hungry. I'm cooking up like Monte. I think it's been a little more believable than some of the YouTube clips that I've seen of other people. Okay. So, this is her. I need to lay this to rest one way or the other. Like I said, it's been four years. Four years. Love is on the air. Jack Daniels. You're the only one who can help me out of this mess. Oh. I'm kind of in a dilemma. You know, if I was early on in the relationship. But I Diana what? Up. Diana Morozing. How do you even say her name? Diana Morozigna. Zakina, Zakania, no, Diana Moro Zikna, <laughs> Diana Moro Zakina, Zakina, Moro Zakina, yeah, Moro Zakina, yeah, I, I got it, boom, Moro Zakina. Broken it off, but the longer you're in it, less likely you are to break it off because what if it worked out? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. Okay. There's been gifts too. I sent her. I sent her probably six boxes of of nice stuff that she's wanted. You know that I've I've uh, bought and sent her. That she That's can't a lot get of stuff. Where is she at? That she can't her, uh, look at what happened to my she apartment. Me a picture of her uh, apartment, and I believe I saw the same or similar apartment with big holes in it. On today's episode, so you sent her money for that? Martin, who has fallen deeply in love with a woman online who claims her name is Diana. The two More met on the dating site <laughs> Ukraine date and spend their days messaging each other through text message. Martin's friends and family have put doubt in his mind about this woman not being who she claims to be, and he's you never been on the phone with her? Verify her true identity after sending $30,000 to help Diana out after her $30,000 to a girl you've never met in real life all you've done is text this girl and this is why people say that girls got it so easy literally all you got to do is text a desperate old man and boom $30,000 that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy like, I'm pretty sure there's some women out there that's some sugar mamas that'll probably do the same thing, but it's way less likely. Way less. There's no way. $30,000? She's not even that cute. She look like... She look like she got a lazy eye. <laughs> like, she don't even look like... You know what? Never mind. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get How? into it. <laughs> How? How am I going to stop somebody from getting scammed? And I am a engineer. With so he makes some big bank. My hobbies are Netflix, motorcycle riding. I have a couple cats. Netflix is not a hobby. It's not a hobby. <laughs> I really enjoy. Come here. Come here. Yeah, she, uh, she's our, our favorite cat now. And I just am uh, a guy looking for a relationship with a beautiful woman. Right. <laughs> right. I've been married a couple times, divorced. I have two boys. The first one was, was not even really a marriage it was more of a brother sister relationship brother Second sister marriage. relationship very beautiful lady but i again probably wasn't as attracted to her as i needed to be that what are you talking about lasted 18 years and then we got divorced 
After Martin's second divorce, he decided to give online dating a shot. He created a profile on Ukraine Date and was contacted by many women. But there was one woman's dating profile that just stood out to him. How? How does this stood out to you? I, I saw her on Ukraine Date and I started talking to her. We we talked on that platform for Man, a while. Man, she looked like a real estate agent. She looked like, this looked like, nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. I wouldn't trust this. I like somebody got this picture off of Google Images, bro. Mm -mm. She always told me that I was handsome, distinguished. I always told Hi her there, that you're she's so handsome. You're both all pink. Yo, she's Ukrainian, and she then he fell Russian. for it. She has done some face modeling. She lo likes iPhones. She likes iPhones. <laughs> Dog, no, no. <laughs> I love iPhones so much. Is that your way of asking for an iPhone? Like, bro, off the first text, I would have known, like, okay, yeah, no. Just no, bro. Because first of all, never mind. Let's just keep going. Because this is, this is, this is stupid. <laughs> this is yeah, just Apple iPads yeah, on my face. She's literally iPad. asking for it. We both uh, like to dream. I dream about. I had a being dream last night. You were my queen and I was your king. king. Oh my God! This is why you are divorced. This is why you are divorced, bro. Fellas, never, ever, ever, unless like you know that it's okay. Don't ever come at no girl with something like this. I had a dream last night. You were my queen, and I was your king. First of all, you sound creepy. Because why are you dreaming about a, a woman you've never met? That's one. Number two, this whole queen and king stuff. What century do you think we live in? <laughs> what century do you think we live in? You dig what I'm saying? Like, you were my queen and I was your king, bro. You sound like you finna kill this woman if you ever get, her hand, you ever get your hands on her, bro. You're strange, bro. This is a strange fellow right here. This is a, you are my king. Oh my god. Uh, I used to uh, <laughs> tell her bedtime story starting with once upon a time. Can I tell I you a bedtime story, bro? Yeah. This is, yo. <laughs> a bedtime story is insane, Martin. It's insane. I can't even, like, I want to call you, like, this is like pedophile activity a little bit. This is a little bit of pedophile activity. A little bit. Even though this is a grown woman that you're talking to, maybe, might be a man, but, <laughs> but, no, <laughs> there's no way. Peasant, she was always the, you know, the princess that needed to be saved out of a tower, that kind of stuff. I send what? her a lot of selfies. She sends me more. So your the selfie that you send her is your profile picture. Why does he need to? This is stupid. Where is she at? They were very exciting for me, but I I would much rather see her face. You know, she's she's a beautiful woman. You know, she says, "What are you doing?" And I just send her pictures of what I'm making, or you know, what I'm making for dinner or breakfast. I say, "I want to make this someday." You know, stuff like that. We share pictures uh, about everything. We share I've pictures about everything. Um, I send her this is a sad, food. sad man. I send her pictures of my motorcycle. Martin spent every day checking in on Diana. He was just waiting on a woman like her to shower with love. The guy was determined to make this relationship work. She is learning four English. Years. I sent her babble link over there. She's learning English. I'm learning Russian. What I do too is I use. She don't even I know use, English. Like, this is Translate. ridiculous. Um, sometimes because it's easier for her to understand Russian than English. Um, so uh, I'm just I'm helping her with that. <laughs> me and some friends are going out dancing. Can you help me pay for it, sweetie? No, <laughs> no. What are you talking about? No. Like what? She has friends. I pay for them to go out dancing. I 
I sent her money to go on a lake cruise one time. A cruise? I'm really excited. She sent me videos of them dancing around. And Look at all these guys. You think she ain't rocking with Nan one of them? You just, you just sent her money to get on a cruise with a whole bunch of rich men. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No. Why not go with her? You obviously got money to pay for the cruise. You ain't got money to pay for a flight. You ain't never thought about going on a trip. Hey, yo, let me come see you. Let me fly you out. Nah, forget the cruise. How about I just get you a plane ticket over here? <laughs> How about I get you a plane ticket here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk about some cruise. No. No. No, I'm not. No. Simply no. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's as simple as no. What in the world? This is ridiculous. This is terrible. This is mankind for you. This is what, this is, this is. This is what happens when you give us free will. We do things like this. I've talked to her other girlfriends. I've talked to her brother. She's that does look in, fun, uh, beautician school. She was uh, in electronics for a while. She likes nice things. She loves Godiva chocolates. I'm sure she does. Tezo tea, passion tea. I've sent He's her literally many picking boxes it out. of that stuff. I know what she likes. I, I know what she enjoys. Um, and she looks forward to talking to me. There's been gifts. Sure it does. She's getting her, paid. <laughs> she's getting paid to talk. Of nice stuff that she's wanted, you know, that I've, I've uh, bought and sent her that she can't get over there. Yo, her this might be the lawyer. method. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This might be the method. You know what I'm saying? Just get on a dating app. I'm sure plenty of people do this. Get on a dating app, make up a fake page, and just talk to desperate old men. <laughs> just talk to desperate old men. Hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, oh, I want to go get my nails done. Can you send me? Can you send me the money? Oh, oh, I want to come send you. Send me the send me the plane ticket. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. The the um uh I missed my flight. I'll just have to come the next day and the next day and the next day. He just sitting there. When are you showing up? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> like, like for real. Bottles of Jack Daniels. He was very excited about. She's had uh, menstrual periods that have been strange, and I've sent her to a gynecologist a couple of times. She's gotten help that way. It's so expensive. Uh, very thankful, always very thankful. Martin would send gifts to Diana all the time. He wanted to make sure she knew how he felt about her. Yeah. She's 30. She's 30 years I'm old and he can't pay for none of this stuff. I know that's something that a lot of people think is wrong. I know what... She's 30, you're 60. So that means that you've lived six decades and you still can't tell the difference between a real woman and a scammer online. For sure. Thanks to uh, Saturday. My bad, y'all. SD camera ran out of storage. Back to the video. You need to be a good listener. I think that's very important. Um, in a relationship, especially with a woman, they thrive on uh, emotions, uh, sensitivity. You uh, know all this, and yet passion, you're still getting scammed. You know, patience, things like oh, that. Oh, no, not the gift where cards. Guys are just like, kill, kill, kill. How many did I bang this week? Kind of stuff, you know? And I, I'm not like that. Maybe you should try. They're more attractive yeah, maybe to you that should try. than they are a good-looking guy a lot of times because they're worn out with good-looking guys that are stupid and rude and, you know, abusive and condescending. It's stupid, right? They're stupid, but you're the one out $30,000. <laughs> like, you missing the point. You out money, bro. I can see if you was just wasting your time, but you're wasting money. And time is money, but still, money is tangible. And you're wasting it. You're wasting it. Like, I would never in life. This is stupid. <laughs> like, this is so stupid. And I hear that a lot from younger women. Not just online, but I mean in general. Sunset picnic on the beach would be... Yeah, because y'all paid think, the money, more romantic, bro. romantic, more thoughtful, more genuine. It would mean more. You know, it would mean more to me to see her enjoy it. That's the kind of stuff I'd rather do than... 
you know, just swoop her up and make love to her. During the first year that we were together, she was working at retail. Her boss wanted to take her to Dubai. And I said, you know what he's going to want to do? And, and I said, well, it's up to you, but please don't do it. And she said, I won't do it. It would be difficult to start a family at my age. It, it wouldn't be the best, you know? Yeah. Uh, probably wouldn't see my boys or girls. Oh, my whole thing is, you talking about some don't do it. But how are you going to control if she does it or not? She's in Ukraine. <laughs> She's in Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to be able to stop her? First of all, you wouldn't be able to stop her even if you were near her. But at the same time, she's in a completely different area. If she want to do it, she's going to do it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, high school. On February 24th, 2022, Russia invaded parts of Ukraine. Yep. It turns out Diana's apartment was bombed. Wow. This is when things went completely haywire. She needed to get out of Ukraine ASAP, and Martin was her only hope. Send her that plane she ticket. She comes from Kharkov, which is the second largest city in Ukraine. Send her that plane ticket. She just dreams about coming to the United States, especially after the war. After a while, after a couple of years, I was just asking her, how can I help? Do you, need, do you need anything? Tell me if you need anything. Send her the plane to get. For her to leave Kharkov. To get to safety. And she says that was what she needed to be able to get in a car. $1,200. She crazy, said bro. that the, the border guards were extorting people. She said the gas prices were crazy. You know, food was crazy. Everybody was fighting. Yo, she imagine if she's not even in Ukraine. Like the... And it's it, literally, this is the perfect time to do this, though. Like, say if, like there was like an Israel or like a Palestine type of like dating app. And like you were able to finesse out of that. Like, oh, yeah, they're over here going through war. I need the money to go to the United States. How much do you need, baby? Give me like a million dollars. <laughs> Give me like a hundred thousand. Give me something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got her out of that city. It's getting shelled really hard. Her, uh, she showed me a picture of her uh, apartment, and I believe I saw the same or similar apartment with big holes in it. You know, I just felt like I did the right thing for saving it was, me. This is crazy. Uh, traumatic that we had a appointment for her to go to the U.S. Embassy in Kiev with her lawyer. It didn't happen. Uh, we got really close. Babe, we didn't make it. What? I thought you said you got saved. Up until this point, Martin was pulling money out of his savings account to send to Diana to get her out of Ukraine. She fled and moved to Poland with her family, but I she claimed she wall. had no money and all of her belongings were left in to Ukraine. Poland. It was up to Martin to pay for all of Diana's living expenses until she got back on her feet. Her, her mother needed Man, an operation. Man, that woman looked fine, bro. Uh, that was like $1,000. Um, rent was 400 and living expenses came to about five or 600 a month. Why are you paying for uh, her life? There's been doctor's visits. There's been Like, literally, he's paying her way through life. And it's the same thing with, like, OnlyFans. Girls getting on there doing promiscuous stuff and then guys literally paying their way through life. I don't get it. I don't. I would never in life pay a girl's way through life. No. You're going to have to go out, get a real career. You know what I'm saying? Like how everybody else has to. And that's why I be saying, bro. I, I've never said it, but I be hearing it. And I be thinking that it's true. If a girl wants to take this life, if a girl wants to take this pad down, if they can do it easily. A girl, uh, uh, it's, it's easy. All you got to do is talk. Maybe show a little bit of skin, send a couple pictures, and you're in the game, bro. You're in the game. You're getting the money, bro. You be seeing these girls, Rick and Mary's. I said Rick and Mary's. Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Rick Owens, Mary's. Louis Vuitton, 
all this, all this stuff. You're like, where'd she get it from? I'll tell you where she got it from. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> she got it from conversation, bro. These women don't need no pimps no more, bro. They pimping us. Well, not us, but them. They pimping these type of guys. This is, this is, this is what we call macking. She's macking her way to the money. And can you blame this girl? No. Because if I was her and I had this opportunity, I'll be doing the same thing. I'm sorry. It's all about the money, bro. It's all about the money. It's all for the love of money, bro. I'll be doing the same thing. What? It's free money. <laughs> it's a free $30,000. $30, since she says she fell on the ice uh, going out to buy internet and then had to spend that money. I hurt my ankle and I have to use the internet visit. money. For but I kind of know how long it's been. And I'll send her a little here and there. I think it's been a little more believable than some of the YouTube clips that I've seen of other people. Uh, but no. she did have requests a couple times that were not very cheap. You know, five hundred dollars here, two fifty, three fifty. You know, it's added up. It's been probably thirty thousand dollars over four years. That's a lot of money. It is. Um, I've gotten receipts. She sent me receipts from doctors and lawyers. I got a call. So this is a real woman. To a couple times. I have not been able to make enough income to maintain my own place. I actually what? had to move uh, back to San Diego with my ex-wife. Sleep on the patio. There is no way. There is no way. There is no, I thought you was making enough money to do all of this. But not only are you sending her $30,000, but you have made it to where you can't even take care of your own self. And you haven't even met this girl yet. You haven't even been on the phone with this girl yet. You have to live with your ex-wife. Your ex-wife, she looking at you like a whole clown. She looking at him like a whole buffoon. You look like you look like it the clown. You look like Pennywise right now. That's what you look like. You look crazy. You look stupid. S T U P I D. That spells your name. <laughs> that spells your name, bro. This is ridiculous. I gotta make sure I instill in my kids. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Money first, power second, women third. <laughs> Money first, power second, women third. In the great words of Scarface, first you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the woman. <laughs> then you get the woman. Then you get the woman. It's not, it's, not, it's not money, it's not women, money, then power. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. Get the money first. Keep the money. Keep the money. Then you get the power. And keep that. And uh, occasionally, you dibble and dabble in females. Occasionally. Especially, well, I mean, like, he's 60 years old, but I'm, bro, you can get women anywhere. They're, they're everywhere. They're literally everywhere, bro. I'm getting upset, bro. I'm getting mad. Because they're everywhere. Because they're literally everywhere. You spent $30,000 and had to move out of your own place. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. This is ridiculous. And I know so many, so many people. I don't know them, but I know of the stories. So many people spending extra bread on online females, bro. Just so that they can feel like they got a little bit of affection. Who raised you? Who taught y'all how to be this way? First you get the money. Then you get the power. Then you get the women. Then you get the women. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just not very pleasant, but it's better than sleeping in my truck. So I'm working on sleeping in the truck. Money together to 
move out. Basically, this is my room, <laughs> the living room. Um, and that's why I don't tell people about this because I know they were because you know that you're stupid so. because they know that you're stupid <laughs> because you know that you're stupid <laughs> that you're uh, that I'm pissed off I mean it's probably gonna happen now that I'm on YouTube but um that's a chance I'm taking Martin has sent so much money to Diana he is now left with nothing Yet he still holds on to meeting Diana in person and starting a new life with her. I have been in denial sometimes about my own abilities, um, my own income, you know, uh, especially now living at my ex-wife's house. That would not work. <laughs> I'm kind of in a dilemma, you know. You've been in a dilemma from day one, bro. But I didn't think it was real. I would have broken it off. But the longer you're in it, less likely you are to break it off because what if it worked out? That's why we keep investing more time, more money. And if we break it off, we never will see if it could have worked out. The ex did all this. It's never working out. So uh, she's a lot better with her money than I am. Clearly. I made a lot of bad decisions, a lot of them because of my relationship with uh, women that I've never met. Even talking to somebody on these sex sites can be crazy expensive, you know? And you're not talking to somebody like that. You're talking to some morbidly obese, bald lady with no teeth, no legs, in a wheelchair, on oxygen, on death row. That's who you're talking to. I'm also on death row. That's why I've, I've gone back several times and started the relationship over. Or she's reached out and I've answered her. Right now it's midnight, it's 12.30, she's texting me. <laughs> so, she gets better. She's using her, her uh, cousin's hotspot right now. She doesn't have any money for internet. There's just beauty. I mean, there's- Where'd all the money go? I don't think there's- Where'd all the money go? I thought you spent, I thought you, I thought you sent her all this money. How does she not have any money for the internet? This is ridiculous. This is stupid. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Any pity other than she's poor. You know, but I mean, how is she poor? A, a relationship that I would like to have. A girl like this is not poor. I'm, I'm sorry to, to tell you this. I'm sorry to tell you this. Women like this, they just get offered jobs, bro. They just get offered jobs, bro. I'm sorry, bro. There's no way she's poor. This might be a side hustle for her. I mean, for like, like the, the relationship between her and him, that's a side hustle. But she getting money, bro. There's no way she looks like that. And she's poor. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. I'm sorry to tell you this. But I think she would be saving me. I'd be relieved that she could finally have a life that she... She looks like she got Botox. Here. I'd be relieved that I could finally have, you know, someone that was very thankful to be with me. That would be very exciting. It's been enough for me um, to keep going. Here she is again. She's trying to say hi. <laughs> it's funny. She's trying to hold on to it so she can get that money. This is ridiculous. If you were to tell me that Diana Morskina was real, I'd be elated. I'd be very excited. I'd be, you know, relieved that all the money and time that I invested into this relationship uh, would be panning out for both of us. This is a I'd business relationship, not a romantic relationship. Like I said, it's been four years, and I've invested a lot of emotional uh, energy in this. I just, I just believe it's real. I believe it's real. I guess I'd be really disappointed if I find out it's not. But are those hearing aids? What is that I'd in be his ear? Angry game? because I can't, you know, take back the memories. They've been good. What yeah, memories? With you guys, I'm hoping of that texting? That's the memories you've had? One way or the other. You know, either I'll have a reason to break it off completely, or I'll be able to... Alright, uh, man, get to the meat and potatoes, man. Let's, let's see if she's faking it's or not. It's gonna go either way. I'm ready for it to go either way. Alright, yeah, whatever. She's in, like, this terrible situation. She sends him photos of her apartment, and it's, like, all 
torn up. I think we have those too, right? This is what Martin received from Diana, and she's like, oh, this is my brother. We did Man, nah. Man, nah. So no. <clears throat> Keep going. Catfish.com, and we were able to find out the true identity of this woman. Diana claimed this was her brother. That's but her we man. Found multiple images of them kissing all over the internet. Yeah, duh. It's like they are from <laughs> duh. either Turkey or Ukraine, but um, they're like living in Dubai or something. And he and laughing. He that dude right there is looking at these text messages that she's getting and that she's sending, and she and he is laughing his behind off. All the money that has been getting sent to this girl. Oh, Bay, you want some new shoes? This little dumb dude just sent me some thirty thousand dollars, or 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 he just sent me a three hundred. Come on, let's go get some J's. Let's go get some Balenci. Let's go get this. Let's go get that. Stupid. Just, just stupid. Just stupid. Just, 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 just stupid. <laughs> I'm upset. The images of the gifts. She would open them, of course, and then show him that she opened them. Some forces. And those are legit, like the same gifts. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so these are legit. Yeah. The next thing we did was look into the address where Martin was sending gifts to Diana. Turns out the address doesn't exist, but someone had to be receiving these packages. Yeah, whoever her boyfriend. it was would open the gifts and send photos of what was inside back this to Martin. This is ridiculous. The next time Martin sent gifts to Diana, we packed it with our own gift. We stuck a GPS tracker at the bottom of the tissue box GPS. so we could then see where the packages were going once they picked them up from the parking lot. Ain't that illegal? Stick around until the end. Martin is still stuck on this woman Diana being truthful about her identity. Did y'all tell her about, I mean, tell her about the, the boyfriend? From, you, you know, Uganda or whatever, they'd have to be pretty damn uh, knowledgeable and, um, you know, they'd have to be able to forge documents that are signed by the government in Ukraine. I mean, I don't think that's possible. So you don't think that's possible. That's kind of why I've been, you know, believing and helping these, uh, uh, this woman. So, and our team will help him realize the truth about all of this. I was hoping that it would, uh, you know, come to uh, a relationship in person. So the real person that you're talking to is if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, I don't feel like it. So you had sent over Diana's address. Um, you had been sending her packages to this address. And what we found was it led us to a shopping center. Mm. The one that's 51B was supposed to be your address. So the 51B is the one that led us to a shopping center. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. We want to go through a few other things. So you had been wiring money to a bank called Private Bank. We did a lot of research on this bank. A bank and called this bank Private was Bank. Part of a massive fraud that was like 5.5 billion dollars in fraud found over the years. And so fraud? This was a massive investigation. You know, looks like there was a cover up going on with this bank. It's not an overly trustworthy bank. Okay. Well, that was part of it. I used. Um weiss i used you know private bank was the end of it and then i would put money in her card on remitly i used um in the beginning i used uh moneygram um ria um remitly and then you know i switched to weiss and then i went back to remitly so uh, i wasn't sending money to the private bank for cash pickup all the time at the end the last a uh, year or more, it's been uh, put on our cards, different cards. When you were sending money through MoneyGram, or what was the name on that? Her lawyer's secretary's name. I put money into their account. She owed the bank money, and they were going to take it if I sent it to her bank account. So then she got a card, kind of probably kind of like one of those, uh, the kind of Visa cards you buy and put money on. I'm guessing. So the next thing we're going to look at is the receipt that you had sent over to us. Um, this was a receipt that Diana had sent to you. We used the image from the receipt and we found an exact match. 
and it led us to an invoice template. And so what this means the invoice is template. anyone can have access to this type of template. They can fill it out, put any numbers that they want for whatever specific reason. Ridiculous. Yeah, most companies, Martin, like they have invoicing software that they would use and print out. They wouldn't go and find like a template on the internet, Photoshop like a picture in there, and then send it to you that way. So, you know, all those things just seem convincing to me. Um, I may have been sending her money, but, the, you know, the receipts you're showing me may have just been what I asked for, you know, to keep me going. First off, I was really impressed the fact that you had sent packages. They took pictures of the goods and the packages and sent them to you. I can understand how that can be convincing. One red flag that I saw, though, is that like there were all these selfies and videos that were sent to you. And so why weren't there any like selfies of them, you know, holding like in front of the packages or videos? I asked her about that and she did wear a choker supposedly that I had sent her, but I didn't ask, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't press her. I, I did ask for the, the picture of the purple jacket she wanted, you know, things like that. But you know, when you're investing this is a in sad, it, sad months, case, you go bro. on because you don't want to lose those months, you know, of time. And it's not about it. losing the months. It's about preventing spending more unnecessary money, bro. It's not about what you've done. You've already dug yourself in a hole. It's about being able to dig yourself out. <laughs> you dug, you've dug yourself in a deep enough hole. It's about realizing, wait a second, I'm in a hole. I need to get out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it's about. On a year or two, you got more to lose if it would have worked out. So that's, that was the dilemma I was in, I guess. Things just weren't adding up. Martin was slowly starting to realize the truth about this woman he had been planning a life with for four years. But it was idea. time to give him the truth about this person in these photos. So we took all the images that you had sent over to us for Diana, and we were able to find a match. And what we were able to confirm is that Diana's real name is Alina, and she lives in Russia. She's a wow. social media content creator. Well, wow, I thought so. Makes yeah, sense. So the real Probably person only fans you're talking model. to is not Diana. It's the real person in real life is Alina. And this person that you're talking to that has actually stolen their pictures and is using them to communicate with you. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see some of the So it's not there, even right? her. It's somebody else doing what I literally just said that people can do. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Nice. So she's 21 years old and she's married. So wow. the pictures that Diana was uh, in with her so-called brother, um, it's actually Alina's husband. This yeah. is it doesn't quite Yo look like the Yes. The picture you had, I think it was the, uh, like a side-by-side -side picture. And he actually looked a little younger in that picture. But yeah. Here, he looks slightly older. He doesn't look much older, but he looks slightly older. She's 21. So, I mean, they're both fairly young. I get it. I get it. <laughs> you dumb. You're just dumb, bro. He's just and dumb. So, Martin, why do you think that like you keep ending up in these situations? Keep. Why, why are they, why do you think that these women like continually talk to you? For money and for attention and, you know, just getting through difficult times. Um, it's not even a woman. <laughs> fuck, whatever. The only thing that can get worse is to have my family see this. Oh, they're going to see they this. They know. They're going to see this. How many views we got on this video? 1.7 million. Once again, we got viral, viral. We got somebody going viral, viral. So your family doesn't know about this? My ex-wife is seen pictures and, mm. you know, I I'd, I'd borrowed money from her a couple times. Now you I've borrowed money her. from her? Oh, I just want to just... <laughs> I just want to hurt you, boy. You borrowed money from one woman to give to another woman that you've never seen.
let's just let's just let's just get through the video. Let's just get through the video. House that we own. Because I spent all the money I had. Um, it's very emotional, you know, and it 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 happens a lot of times. Communications while I'm working, which uh, makes it difficult to concentrate. Um, so I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to they talk about it. This that. guy I mean, here. Our channel's extremely This guy funny. here. You know, a lot of people see the videos. I mean, if they see this video, do you have a message for them? I just, you know, when you're lonely and uh, you don't feel very good about yourself, you do things like this. Yeah, so, I mean. I guess the solution is to learn how to i mean look at him <laughs> i mean look at him bro i mean like we're all beautiful in our own way i guess but at the same time he's cooked <laughs> he's cooked bro he's cooked he's 60 years old you know he's divorced he got a cat and i mean at this age bro i kind of feel like bro it's either you got somebody or you don't you know what i'm saying you it's either you have someone or you don't. That's why around when you 30, bro, start finding a wife. Start 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 looking to settle down, right? Start looking for somebody that you're going to want to be with for the rest of your life, right? Because you don't want to be 60 looking for 30 and 20-year-olds. You don't. Because all they're going to want to do is try to get some paper about you. He looked crazy. You know, he should have went bald. He probably would have, he, he probably be able to rock the bald look. I don't know why old dudes be trying to hold on to all that hair. Just just let it go. Just let it go. Go bald, please. Just go bald. You know what I'm saying? Get fit. And you'll probably, you probably be able to do something. Go bald and get in the gym. Get your health right. And you'll probably be able to find you a nice 65-year-old. Don't you you can't you can't go lower. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't go lower. You can't. You cannot go lower, bro. Everybody that's lower wants where they're at. Don't nobody want to be 30, 20 messing with a 60, 70 year old. I'm sorry, it's just not happening. It's just not. I've never seen that happen. So stay in your age range, you know what I'm saying? Work on yourself, and you'll you'll find you somebody. You'll find you somebody. Your ex might want to come back. Your ex might say that you done bossed up, got your money right, you looking good. And then she like, oh, man, hey. <laughs> she like, hey. You still want to sleep in the living room? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Lonely. Or feel good about yourself, too. I mean, yeah, what? Yeah. Like, Take I yourself mean, out on dates. I've done that sometimes, you know. Take but yourself out on it, dates. It's hit and miss. And, you know, when you're on an emotional roller coaster with a relationship like this anyway, you don't want to talk to people about it because they think it's bullshit. You know, it is having someone like her want to be with someone like me is. Uh, is not real. I don't think you're a bad looking dude. Like, I just think that don't lie to him. You know, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't <laughs> lie. He done been fed lies enough. It's time we give him the truth. <laughs> it's time we give him the truth. To your age and, and like probably has similar interests that you do. Martin unfortunately fits the mold we've seen time and time again. Romance scammers are known to use beautiful women and sweet talk to lure unexpected victims. Loneliness is a vulnerability that leaves many men searching for love in the wrong He's places. Crazy. I kind of knew this was going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm upset, but I'm also glad at the same time that I don't have to go on with this emotional roller coaster of being excited when she reaches out and being resentful when I send money, you know, being depressed, being excited again, being resentful, being depressed. It is what it is, man. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, dog. <sighs> Listen, man, all you got to be able to do from these videos is be able to just look at this type of stuff and just learn from these people's mistakes, man. You know what I'm saying? You watch these videos, you see these guys, 
and you see how easily it is when you're vulnerable and when you're looking for love. When it's like literally, I feel like you shouldn't even look for love. You know what I'm saying? Let 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 love just be around, and you just see it, and it's like, okay, yeah, okay, cool. But don't just be out here sca- just scavenging on Twitter, not on Twitter, on Tinder, on these dating apps. Just swipe up, swipe, swipe, swipe right, swipe right. You just, oh, oh, she looks good. Let me text. Oh. Don't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Be out, do your thing, get your money. First things first, get the money, get the money, bro. Get the money. Make sure you got the money, bro. That's first things first. Money. Hey, look at me. Hey, money. <laughs> get the money first, right? Then you get the power. Then you get the power, okay? Get the power. After you get the money and you get the power, eventually, occasionally, maybe, <laughs> you'll get a woman. It's plural. You'll get women. Anyway, that's size the point. Point is, if you guys like this video, think it's a pretty cool video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications, share this video with all of your friends. And until some guys, peace out. I'm all out of time to spend with you. This ain't nothing new. Girl, I thought you knew. Stuck up in my ways, I ain't been that kind of you. Swear for brand new cool. Keep me in the loop, I'm off the grid. Feeling like the man since I was a